Ever wondered how the blend of European and Asian architecture would look like in the heart of Vietnam? Let us journey back to the 1920s. In the midst of an era taking shape, King Kai Din embarked on a daring project, the Kien Trung Palace. With the guidance of French architects, he melded the architectural styles of two continents, and in a swift span of two years, an innovative masterpiece took form. Thus, in 1923, Kien Trung Palace, a true marvel of the Nguyen dynasty, was born. But as we all know, history is a relentless force, showing no mercy even to the grandest of palaces. In the aftermath of 1945, Vietnam's landscape transformed dramatically. The Imperial Citadel, which once brimmed with architectural marvels bore the brunt of this change. One by one the structures that had stood for centuries crumbled, their grandeur reduced to rubble, yet amidst the destruction one edifice refused to bow down, the Kien Trung Palace. This stalwart structure, a testament to the Nguyen dynasty's architectural prowess, stood tall, defying the ravages of time. It bore the scars of history with a quiet dignity, its mere existence a powerful reminder of a bygone era. As the last remnant of the Nguyen dynasty's opulence, the palace's resilience took on a poignant significance. It was more than just a building, it was a symbol of endurance, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a kingdom that once was. Despite the ravages of time, Kien Trung Palace stood tall, a silent witness to the changing tides of history. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Kien Trung Palace is being reborn, ready to captivate a new generation. In recent years the palace has undergone an intensive five-year renovation plan. This ambitious project aimed to restore the architectural gem to its former glory, preserving the unique blend of eastern and western influences that make Kien Trung Palace so unique. The majesty and grandeur of the Nguyen dynasty's royal palace are not mere echoes of the past, they are alive and breathing in the meticulously restored details of the palace. The intricate patterns on the walls, the ornate carvings on the columns, the grand staircases and the expansive courtyards all testify to the opulence of a bygone era. But the palace is not just a relic of the past, it's also a reflection of the 20th century era, bearing the touch of Western architecture. The fusion of European styles with traditional Asian designs results in a fascinating architectural blend that sets Kien Trung Palace apart from any other royal residence. The palace's restoration journey has been a labor of love and dedication. Each brick laid, each tile replaced, each detail painstakingly restored, is a tribute to the artisans, architects and visionaries of the past, as well as the resilience of Vietnam's cultural heritage. Today, Kien Trung Palace stands as a testament to Vietnam's rich history and resilience, a beacon of architectural beauty rising in the heart of the Hu Citadel. So what's the tale of Kien Trung Palace? It's a narrative of ambition and artistry, of survival and rebirth. Born from European and Asian influences, enduring the ravages of time and now restored to its former glory. Kien Trung Palace, a symbol of Vietnam's past, present and future continues to stand tall, telling its story to anyone willing to listen.